Hey, good morning, guys. Well, it's um, Sunday. A lot of stuff's happened since uh, last time we talked. We talked after I got done suffering over the mountains in California. Uh, went to bed, downloaded all my videos to get some video up on YouTube. Woke up the next morning in my primary business phone, my i14 Pro, decided not to work anymore. So basically that leaves me with absolutely nothing. I had to go to Verizon to see if I could get this thing taken care of. There was no way that they can do it because the screen's not working. And my, like, I don't know about you guys, but all my information is on my phone. My banking, my business stuff, my emails, uh, all, everything. Everything you can think of is on my phone. And even my Apple ID number that you need for everything. So I ended up buying another phone. But the problem is, every time I try to sign into something, it's sending a message to my other phone number, which I can't see. So, I don't know. It's a freaking mess. We're in Vegas. Got to Vegas uh, yesterday afternoon late. Actually walked this strip, took some pictures. I'll put them in Instagram. It's a pretty cool place. I haven't been there in like 25 years. A lot of things changed, but a lot of things haven't changed. So today, uh, I'm going to ride to the Hoover Dam using a basic roadmap app on the phone. Hopefully it doesn't take me to all kinds of crazy places like highways. Um, and then I'm going to go to the U Break I Fix phone, call them, see if they have a replacement uh, front for an i14 Pro. That being said, I really don't have a clue what's going to happen in the next couple of days. Because basically, without my apps, my travel apps for my riding, it's hard to use maps. Pete can't find me in the van or the RV because he doesn't know where I am. So it's a little more difficult than just taking the uh, bike with just your tent, what have you. My, it, it seems to be much easier that way. To have an RV, you think you're saving and, and helping yourself, doesn't, doesn't really help. It actually makes it more of a pain in the ass. All you do is look for places to park the stupid thing, uh, try to meet up with people. Uh, I, I, if I ever did this again, I'd do it basically just on my own with a tent and maybe hotels. No more RV. It's a pain in the ass. Well, guys, I'm going to see what happening, and then I'm going to get on my bike, and I'm going to ride to the Hoover Dam, which I've never seen, and I like to see it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Good morning, guys. It's uh, Sunday morning, 7.30, Las Vegas. You know, it makes you feel much better when you can get back on the bike and start riding and have uh, a destination. Because the rest of it is uh, just a pain in the ass. Locating a place for the RV, meeting up with the person, finding this, finding that. It's more work than uh, riding the bike. So I'm headed to the Hoover Dam. This is Vegas, baby. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. Last night we went to the Strip. That was pretty cool. I like the people watch. A lot of different people out there, let me tell you so. All right, I got about a 30 mile ride to the Hoover Dam. Pete's gonna meet me over there. Maybe take a tour of the Hoover Dam so we get some clips of that. But hopefully today goes a little better. I gotta go to You Fix It, I Broke It. I Broke It, You Fix, whatever it's called. See if they can fix my other phone. I'll talk to you a little later. Have a great day. I'm in route. <clears throat> I'm in route to the Hoover Dam. I tell you, going to Las Vegas in the nighttime is pretty amazing with all the lights, 
everything going on. But I tell you, driving around Vegas during the day, during the morning, early, with not too many people, it ain't bad. It's very nice here. The housing, the, the uh, condos are all well, well groomed, palm trees everywhere. I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I've never really driven around uh, um, Las Vegas during the day. The only time I've been here is on vacation, staying at a hotel, and then, then you end up on the strip all the time. But the roads are in good shape. They got a lot of places to eat, a lot of places to shop. Just a lot of places. I mean, right now it just looks like probably Berlin Turnpike. But you wouldn't think it'd be this all right. I mean, nice bike lane. Temperature right now is probably in the high 70s. A lot better than yesterday afternoon when we got here. It was 105 degrees. It was hot. 105. All right, guys, I'll let you go. When I see something a little better, I'll give you a little update. Have a great morning. I thought it'd be safer to take the bike path. It runs parallel with the road. So I got on it, hit a patch of sand, and almost took a digger over my handlebars. So I'm staying on the road. Even though cars are here, it's much more safer, I think. This is a nice bike trail now. I tell you, I don't mind this. It's beautiful. Nobody out here driving by the mountains, casinos. I tell you, it's pretty well taken care of. I don't know what they pay for taxes around here, but this is not bad. Yeah, nice, huh? Off for the ride. Here we go, guys, boys. Uh oh, end of the road, end of the road. Oh boy, be careful. Alright guys. Look at it. Oh how things change so fast. I go from a a bike path thinking that I'm having this perfect ride. Seeing that I don't have my regular riding app because my phone is dead or broken. I'm on I-93. Hopefully, I don't get stopped for it. Hopefully, I can get the hell off of this thing. Stay tuned. That is. That is Lake Mead over there. If you look at the water lines, look how low it is. Those water lines on the rocks on the side, that's where the water used to be. They have lost so much water. But that is Lake Mead. And the dam is around here somewhere. But I've been going downhill for the last two miles. I'll pay for it. I know it. But that's sad. Look at that. That is really sad. There's like no water left in it. You wonder how they make all their electricity. I did see a huge solar collection 
coming into Las Vegas yesterday. Absolutely amazing. They use mirrors and they have solar panels that were lined up to the, you couldn't believe how many. The mirrors were so bright, shining, reflecting the sun. But that is Lake Mead. I don't know. What do you think this is? This is this is a dam? I've never been here before, so. If this is a dam, I tell you, I feel bad for the for the for the dam. They don't have any water. Alright guys, I see a few. See everywhere you go, there's always a special treat on the other side of the ride. I got my man here, he's getting me a little pineapple. Uh, no, two pineapple. Two pineapple. He's gonna get me pineapple. Hoover Dam's over there. Take a little break. We're going to look at the dam. And then we'll see what's next. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You see, guys, it's hard. it's hard. Every day is a different challenge. I mean, every day. It's not just a biking challenge. It's a mental challenge. It's on, you know, what are you going to have to do today and figure out? Yesterday it was my phone failing, still haven't figured that whole thing out. The other day it was climbing that mountain, and when I got to the top, man, I had nothing left. And, and you know, everybody just driving by you like you, you don't even matter. So you got to figure it out. You walk, you do what you got to do. You just got to get it done. It's like everything else. Your job, everything, everything, you just got every day. You just got to get it done so you can move on to better things. And today, it's a better thing. Today, look what I got. Today I got beautiful pineapple from a nice man over there. Didn't speak much English, but this is what I got. Got blue delicious. Hoover Dam's right over there. I'm gonna ride over there and see that thing. Actually, I'm gonna take the tour inside. I don't care. I've never been there. Probably never be there again. But I'm enjoying my pineapple. You guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.